Hey guys, so today's video is going to be long. I'm just gonna start out by saying that, that this video will be long. The other day on Instagram, I posted a picture of everything I owned from Makeup Geek and so many of you guys requested a video all about Makeup Geek. A lot of you guys asked for an eyeshadow collection with eyeshadow swatches. A lot of you guys asked about the pigments and a lot of you asked me to just talk about my favorite must-have Makeup Geek products. So I am combining all of that. This video is completely dedicated to all my Makeup Geek stuff. I am swatching absolutely everything in this video. And then for those of you asking for me to talk about like my must-haves and the best Makeup Geek products in my opinion, then this video is also for you. So what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you everything I own from Makeup Geek and then throughout the video while I show you swatches, I'm going to tell you if I think that it is a must-have, if I think you should look into it. Basically as I go along, I'm going to tell you, okay, this one is a favorite, this one is a favorite, this one is a favorite, just so you guys know which ones I love the most and you get swatches in the meantime as well. So I'm going to be talking about her eyeshadows, her pigments, and her blushes. I do have a couple of brushes from her as well that I will mention at the end, but this is mainly focused around these three different products. Now a lot of this stuff was sent to me, but I have purchased things off of Makeup Geek myself. I've made like four orders on that website. I spent a lot of money on that website myself. Um, I'm a big believer in Makeup Geek before they even sent me anything. I was buying off of that website. It's inexpensive and it's good quality. So I keep all of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in, actually I keep all of my Makeup Geek products in Z palettes. These two right here are like the biggest Z palettes that she sells on her website. I think these are like the extra large Z palettes. And then I think this is just like large, I think. And I definitely recommend doing this because it's just easier to store and easier to use. Each individual eyeshadow in the pan is $5.99, which is a steal. I think MAC is like $15 for each eyeshadow. So for $7, you get amazing pigments. I'm going to be comparing these to MAC, I feel, because I feel like that's mainly what people compare this to. I only own two MAC pigments because, let's face it, they expensive and these are cheaper. And as for their pan blushes, like if you get them individually like this in the pan to pop them in a Z palette, they are $9.99. Okay, so let's start off with this palette first. This first one right here is called White Lies and it is just your basic white matte eyeshadow. There is no other way to describe it except a white matte eyeshadow. It is very pigmented, very buttery, and I use this as a brow bone highlight whenever I want it to be just a little bit more intense. This one is called Ice Queen, and it is pretty much just like White Lies, only a shimmerier virgin. Virgin? No. Virgin. So while that one is matte, this one isn't. Not gonna lie, this one isn't my favorite just because it's a little bit patchy when I apply it to the skin, but if you like shimmery white colors, then this is a good one. This next one is called Shimma Shimma, holy grail for me. Definitely a must have, one of my all time favorites. Makeup Geek did an amazing job on this eyeshadow. It is very similar to Max Shroom, but even better, like 10 times better. The sheen on this is ridiculous. You don't need Fix Plus with this. You don't need anything. This is perfection. This one is called Vanilla Bean and it is, to me, the perfect all over lid shade when I want a very matte, simple look. I'll put this all over my lid and then I'll buff like um, creme brulee in the crease and it'll just be really soft and pretty. But if you are darker, then this will be a really pretty matte highlight. This one is called Beaches and Cream and while everyone raves about this one, it's not my favorite. And the only reason I say that is because I do like peach smoothie more. This is like a muted version of peach smoothie. It's still a peach, but a very, very soft, very soft peach. So if I'm gonna choose between the two, I'm definitely gonna go with peach smoothie, smoothie, which is this one right here. As you can see, this one's just a little bit more tan, a little bit more natural. And this one is peach smoothie, definitely a must have, a holy grail, a favorite. It's the perfect peachy shade. This is a great transition shade, probably one of the best transition shades if you're gonna do warm looks like this. I have this buffed into my crease right now and it just ties the look together with a lot of warmth and peachiness. I love it. This one right here is called Creme Brulee. It, this is so holy grail that it hurts me. This is like one of the best Makeup Geek eyeshadows on the market, amazing. 
Very similar to Max Soft Brown, but I like it even more. I used to be crazy about Soft Brown until I got this one. Perfect transition shade. You will not find a transition shade better than this. It is amazing. Go buy it right now. Go buy it right now. This one is called Purely Naked. It's not matte, but it doesn't. It's not shimmery. It's more of a natural satin finish. Um, it's a very light, just everyday tan shade. This one is called Preppy and it's one of my favorites as well because it's like a dirty brown. It almost has like a hint of green in there. It's a brown with like a green undertone. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a great shade to add to your collection because there's not many eyeshadows like this. This one is definitely unique. It's neutral, but it's different. This one is called Latte and it's very similar to Creme Brulee in the sense that it's a really beautiful warm crease shade, but it is a hair darker than creme brulee. This one is called Hipster and it is a brown taupe with a little bit of a sheen to it. I actually really like this shade. I didn't think I would, but it's a nice cool tone color that I don't have um, I don't have many eyeshadows that look like this. It has a little bit of a sheen and it looks nice on the eyes. And then this one is Barcelona Beach. It's kind of like Hipster in the sense that it's a cool tone brown, but it doesn't have a sheen to it at all. It's one of their newer eyeshadows, I believe, and this is so buttery and soft holy grail for me if you are into cool tone browns you should have bought this yesterday this one is called frappe and it is a very 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 warm brown i love this one for warmer looks it's not too dark and it's not too light so it's that perfect look to add when you're doing really warm eyes and then this one is super holy grail and it is called coco bear and it is very similar to frappe only a much, much darker version. It doesn't look like it's similar, but when you swatch them, they both have like that warm, warm undertone. This one is definitely a lot more red. I have this in my crease as well, really blown out in my crease and on my outer V just a little bit. This is a must have, definitely a must have. It's raved about on YouTube for a reason. This one is called Gold Digger. It's a very, very true yellow gold. Not my favorite one, because it kind of goes on the lid just a little bit strange. I do have to use Fix Plus, not always, but most of the time I use Fix Plus when I use this, and then when I use Fix Plus, it's like a match made in heaven. But it's not as buttery as the rest of them, so just keep that in mind. The same goes for this one. This is Bleached Blonde. It's like a much taupier version of gold. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of looks like a dirty gold. Does that make sense? This one is holy grail for me. I love it. It is called Glamorous. This is what's on the inner part of my lid. The shimmery stuff on my lid is this. The sheen on this is ridiculously beautiful. It has like golds and oranges and coppers and yellows and it's just like a really nice golden color. This next one is another holy, oh no. It is called Pretentious. It's that perfect bronze. If you like Urban Decay's Smog, then you will like this. It's really similar. It's that beautiful bronze that looks good on everyone. This one is called Bada Bing. It's just a matte brown, a deep matte brown with golden flecks all throughout it. The golden flecks don't come out that much on the eyes, which kind of sucks, but it's still a nice color that I will that I use often. This one is Holy Grail for me, like Holy Grail. I use this probably every time I um, do my eyes with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. It is called Mocha. It's just a matte, perfect deep brown. This one is another must-have, another one I definitely recommend. It is called Cosmopolitan. It is a perfect rosy pink golden color. Beautiful, very, very similar to Max Expensive Pink, which I also own, but this one is butterier, it's smoother, it's better. This one's Mango Tango. It's a nice pinky um, watermelon color. It's, it reminds me of fruit. I could see why it's called Mango Tango. It's perfect for the summer. Um, it's matte and I really, really love this. If you're into these pinky tangerine shades, you will like it. This one is called Goddess and it's like a red bronze. It is, it has a sheen to it, but it has a lot of like warm undertones, but it, I still would consider it like a bronzy red shade. Not red, but like a warm bronze color. This next one is another holy grail must have for me and it is called, huh, almost dropped it. It's called Bitten. It is a deep matte burgundy red shade. All of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows are pigmented, but this one is like on crack on another level. This is the color I have on the outer Vs of my eye and I brought it into my crease. It's that red you see on my eyes. Beautiful for everyone. <laughs> 
This one is called Burlesque. It's another burgundy shade, but this one is shimmery. It has a sheen to it. It's very similar to Bitten, but it's not matte. It's just a nice cranberry color. This one is called Country Girl. It's a mauve color. Um, it's like okay to me. It's not my favorite. I don't think it's a must-have. This one is Super Holy Grail for me. I've already used this in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a tutorial. This is Unexpected. It is a dusty purple color, has a lot of gray to it, and it looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful in the crease. This one I also used in a tutorial, it is called Cupcake. It's really similar to Unexpected in the sense that it is that perfect crease shade, only while that one is like a dusty purple, this one is a mauve pink. This one is called Cinderella, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this one. It's a little bit chalky. I feel like the formula isn't as smooth as it can be, because it is a really pretty color. I can still make it work with a little Fix Plus, but on its own, not my favorite. Okay, so these next four are all incredible if you like taupey, silver, purpley, taupey amazingness. And I recommend each and every one. Amazing. This one is called Twilight. It's a really light purpley taupe shade. This is perfect if you have really fair skin because it is very light. It's a pretty iridescent shade. This one is Holy Grail, probably just as much Holy Grail to me as Creme Brulee. It's a staple for me. It is called Homecoming. Out of all the eyeshadows, out of all the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I don't know what it is about this one, but when you put your finger in it, it feels like you're touching butter. The smoothest, most creamiest. If I could recommend like five Makeup Geek eyeshadows, this is one of those five. Such a beautiful, unique, taupey shade. Amazing. If you like taupes, go buy it. That's definitely my favorite one out of all these little four taupey ones I'm going to talk about. This next one is a taupey shade as well but it has purple undertones to it. It's called the Prom Night. It's really similar to Max Satin Taupe, in my opinion, because it's that taupey color with the purpleness to it. Really, really gorgeous on the lid. And then this one is Moon Dust. It's a little taupey, but a lot more silvery, like gray to it. But it still has that taupey undertone. Really pretty for cool tone looks. Definitely a must have if you are into those kind of looks. And then the last one in this palette is called Top notch or taupe notch. Son of a. Ow! On my forehead. And this is just a taupey brown with a bit of a sheen to it. I haven't really played around with this one too much. So that those were all the eyeshadows in this palette. Now let's move on to this palette. This first one is so unique and I recommend it. Still trying to figure out a look with it. It is called Rockstar. It's one of their newer eyeshadows as well. The formula on this one feels like heaven as well. It's a silver but in the light it looks pink. It's like a duochrome with silver. Is it pink? I don't know. This one is called Mercury and it's just your typical metallic silver shade. I don't know how else to describe it except It'd be silver. This one is called Graphite, a silvery gray color. It's kind of like Mercury, but just a lot darker. Has a little bit more of charcoalness to it. This one is called Galaxy, and I'm not super into cool toned eyeshadows like silvers and stuff, but this one is beautiful because it has a little bit of like a blue undertone somewhere in there. This one's a great one if um, you want just a matte gray for every day. This one is called Stealth. It has a little bit of blue in there as well. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I definitely see a lot of blue to this eyeshadow. This next one is her black eyeshadow, and it is the king of all black eyeshadows. This is the blackest black it will ever get for you in your life on the market right now. It is called Corrupt, and it is black as night. There's no other way to describe it except black. Now we're going into like the greener family. This one is called Shimmer Mint right here, and it is a really pretty, lime green minty shade. This one is called Apple Teeny. And I think of St. Patrick's Day when I look at this. It's that fun green that is bright and it has little flecks of like yellow glitters. This one is called Poison Ivy and it is one of my favorite green ones that she has because it is a golden kind of green. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of green eyeshadows but when they're like dirty colors like this that they have a little bit of an olive undertone, I'm a fan. Same goes for this one. This is a beautiful like olive green, but it is a matte one. So it looks really pretty in the crease and it is very, very pigmented. And then this one is completely incredible. This one is called Envy and this is the most beautiful emerald green ever. It looks different depending on your base color. This one is pixie dust and it is a very yellow green. Like very, very yellow. This one is called Yellow Brick Road. It's a very baby 
yellow color. Really pretty if you like baby yellows. This one is called Lemon Drop, and it is a really intense yellow. Super pigmented, looks really cool on the lids. Honestly, it's a really cool color. I like it. This next one is another must-have holy grail for me, and it is called Chickadee. And I like these colors the most. I actually have this kind of dusted on my crease just a little bit to add a little bit more orange to the look. It is a bright, pigmented orange, straight up orange. This one is called Simply Marlena. It is a pink, like a hot pink with a plummy undertone. Really, really pretty. It's matte and it's super, super, super pigmented. This one is called Razzleberry. It's a red eyeshadow basically with a bunch of yellowy gold flecks throughout it. This next one is a dark, deep, purpley blue. It's like an indigo shade and it is called Duchess. It is a matte formula and it's really nice to deepen out your outer V when you're using like purpley colors. This one is called Neptune. It is a dupe for Max Atlantic Blue. It is just legit cobalt blue. Like that cobalt blue? Yeah, here you go. Next one is another favorite of mine in terms of color and it is called Peacock. It's a beautiful, beautiful teal shade, a really deep, amazing teal. This one is really fun for the summertime, I feel. It's called Shark Bait. It's also one of her like newer ones and it is like the color of the dolphins or the marlins. If you are from Florida, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you know about sports, you know what I'm talking about. It's that kind of shade. Even though they're not the Florida marlins anymore. This one is Glass Slipper. It's that really like silvery blue shade, like very Cinderella dress kind of shade. Not my favorite shades to wear, but it's still, it's pigmented. And if you're into these shades, you'll like it. Then I have just two more eyeshadows to share with you. Oh my God, this video is gonna be enormously long. This one is called Last Dance. It is a very pretty plum shade with a sheen to it. Not like super sheeny, but it's got a sheen to it. So beautiful during this time of year. This next one is called Sensuous, and it's nice. It's not my favorite. It's a purple with a bunch of golden flecks to it. Okay, so those were these eyeshadows. Really quick, I wanna talk about this guy right here. This is the Makeup Geek Vegas Lights eyeshadow palette. This is actually in stock right now. I just checked and it is in stock, but it is a limited edition palette. This palette is $37.99, which a lot of people were like, what the heck about? Because it seems expensive for six eyeshadows, um, but the eyeshadows are the exact same price. So it would be the exact same price if you just bought six separate eyeshadows, except you're paying like $2 for packaging. I love this palette because, I mean, obviously, look at it, guys. It screams my name. I'm gonna love it. But I completely understand why people are iffy about this product because if you look at it, all the colors, they seem to be very, very similar. Um, I think that she should have switched things up, like maybe changed one of these colors because they're similar. I mean, they're not the same and you'll see in the swatches, but it's a very similar, like the vibe is very similar. And I was also kind of thrown off that Bada Bing is in this. It is a repeat. I have Bada Bing in my eyeshadow palette. So I wish she would have come out with another shade that's different, that's not already in the line. You can take these eyeshadows out and then pop different ones in for travel. So that's really cool. But I wanted to show this product to you because it is currently in stock, but once it goes out of stock, I don't think it's gonna come back because it is limited edition. The mirror on this bad boy is really good. It's sleek, it's compact. And these three eyeshadows right here are holy grails already. Um, Mirage, Desert Sands, and Roulette. Desert Sands is the most beautiful crease shade, very similar to Max Unexpected, I think that's what it's called, that everybody loves and raves about. I don't have that one and I want it. But I think this one is super, super similar. This one in Roulette is such a pretty reddish cranberry. And then Mirage is amazing. I feel like she was lacking in her permanent line a creamy, beigey highlight shade that was matte. So, Marlena, if you are watching this video, please make these colors permanent so people can buy them indi individually. Eventually make them permanent, please, because each individual eyeshadow on here is insanely good. Insanely good. I hope she makes them permanent eventually.